Hello everyone, my name is Alberto and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I wanted to show you real quick how I made this pattern. This is a reproduction of a 70s pattern, I believe. It's both for uh, overalls and for a jumpsuit. Um, it's from Simplicity. I am a pattern maker, but I've never used these ready-made patterns. So it was really curious for me. Um, inside you have these instructions in different languages uh, on how to cut your pattern, how to position it on the fabric, how to put it together, obviously. It says all that you need, so the amount of fabric, all the different fasteners, zippers, whatever trim you might need. In addition to that, I also checked their YouTube channel, Simplicity Video, where they had some instructions. So inside you have the patterns. Obviously these are sort of mixed. Um, the first thing I had to do was take out my measuring tape and take some measurements to figure out what size I was in the pattern. I had to translate because it's in inches, obviously, being American. Uh, then I had to cut out uh, all the pieces. Some were a bit trickier because, again, they were mixed in between pattern A and pattern B, which was um, the overall, while pattern A was the jumpsuit. So find all the pieces you need and then I put the rest away to save it because I'm not throwing away another pattern in case I need it for the future. Um, Quickly, they do tell you to, and this is very good, I do it normally, um, to iron out the paper. So in this case, my iron was pretty useful because it has a fan inside that sucks the air in, so it holds everything in place. Obviously no steam, otherwise you would ruin the paper. And just hot iron, give it a good press, uh, iron out all the kinks and folds and whatever might be there. All the creases and this will help you a lot in cutting it. So once you're done with that you can start cutting out all your pieces. Uh, for fabric I had this very cute printed um, leopard denim thingy that I bought many years ago and then it ended up in a cupboard I never used it it was basically exact the same length they were asking so I decided to use that um, I started placing the patterns according to what they suggest which was a bit confusing to me because first of all they want you to fold the fabric uh, width wise, never mind that. Um, then you place all your pieces. I had extra fabric left, I guess, because my fabric was wider. That's fine, it happens. And then they want you to place stuff in order to save space, which is normal. Um, but again, they would leave some gaps that I wouldn't leave, uh, and was a bit confusing. But nonetheless, I tried to follow as much as possible. So pinned everything in place and then I just started cutting my piece.
So here I placed most of my pieces. I did have to start cutting before because it just wouldn't fit on the table. Um, but then, as you can see, I had to make a couple modifications as well uh, to the leg. Uh, so I kept the width of the leg, although it's quite wide, but I took away the slight flare it had, because obviously 70s was a flared leg. And the second leg wanted me to attach a different piece of pattern, but since it was in common with the um, jumpsuit, I just decided to keep it and basically use the same measurements from the other leg I already had. Um, started sewing from the pockets. I folded this six millimeters as instructed and I marked uh, this other line, which is where they want to fold the pocket. So basically their pocket has a built-in facing. What this means is that when you turn it around and you fold it like that and top stitch it on the sides, um, then when you turn it inside out, it creates the facing attached without having another piece. Um, I would normally do a double fold like you do in denim, uh, but they make this quite big facing, which is actually not bad. Again, it's very 70s. Um, also wasn't necessarily supposed to be made in denim. So as you can see, you fold it back. I pin it in place and then stitch uh, down the side of the whole pocket, which also gives you a guideline on how to fold back the edges so that it, you can have a cleaner line. So you stitch all around until you get to the other side. Like so. Clip the edges so it's easier to turn and there's less bulk. Then you turn it around. Make sure with a point that the edges are nice and out. Give it a press. And then here you can see the stitch helps you turn the edge better. Now they would like you to gather the edges, which is another technique that is useful. But in on denim, what I'm used to do is if there's a little point like that, doesn't really matter because when you go to top stitch it on the pant, um, the foot of the sewing machine basically pushes it in place. Um, then you top stitch the fold and then we move on to the front where I overlocked the edges then we're gonna put them together uh, I marked the lines they want me to follow so we're just gonna sew up to those that circle and then uh, the rest of the stitch is supposed to be a long basting stitch just to keep the front closed that you will gonna have to unstitch in the end. So I did that, started attaching the zipper on one side, which then will be top stitched just to keep it in place. Um, I would have done things in a different order personally, but again, for science, I've been following exactly what they want me to do. So then I just top stitch this side and then fold it on to the left. And basically with the stitch where the zipper ends up, that's where you stitch it. That way you create the opening of the pants. Uh, then you're gonna mark on the outside the stitch line, which was tricky. I had to redo the top part later because since they want you to keep the front closed, the bulkiness doesn't allow you to move uh, the cursor, which doesn't allow you to make a nice and straight stitch. Normally you would be able to move it. Never mind, not a big deal. I fixed it later, as I said. And then you unpick this basting to open up the zipper, which is nice. It's a good technique 
to attach the zipper I would have just made a couple modifications but there we go zipper is nice works is fine now we put on the pockets to the front top stitch them blah 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 usual stuff then we're gonna fold the little tabs in the front and I also attached the placket on the inside of the zipper which is just top stitched on the top stitch that we already did on the zipper again would have been better to do it in one stitch so you don't have multiple lines but whatever I did a little barrette on the front like you do in denim uh, then they want you to fold in these two tabs which are where the buttons and buttonholes are gonna go so you just do that and then move on to the bib again fold the little bit that they indicate on one and that's absolutely what you do normally I marked the stitching line and then attached it to the other part of the bib so again just following instructions everything is the same exact process so that I mean it's not difficult then you clip the edges turn it around give it a good press and then we'll have to attach it to the front so like that we're gonna pin it all over the front make sure that the length is distributed well front is closed there's no thickness blah 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 turn it around top stitch it and so we have the front I also attached the bib pocket which is made the exact same way as the other pockets and then I made the buttonholes attach the buttons and top stitch the heck out of it and there's a lot of top stitching so I made the back exact same way attached the bot the pockets top stitched everything at this point I'm just top stitching whatever I see I'm gonna attach now the facing for the back like so guess what then we're gonna turn it around give it a good press and top stitch it which I mean it's just fun I like top stitching um, make sure that your little attachments I have no idea what they're called are the same measure that you get otherwise you can adjust it a little bit if they're um, maybe a little smaller so as you can see top stitched everything top stitched and now we're gonna crisscross the two straps top stitch them <laughs> this point I'm questioning why they didn't top stitch the center seam like again you would do on denim just because it makes sense uh, by the way I did extra top stitching on the side seam it wasn't supposed to be there I just thought at this point it would make sense so I put the sides together button holes top stitched the, the bib that we didn't top stitched around before so we did that which is fine looks great um, and now we have to close the center seam on the inside leg um, which by the way I previously overlocked and then we're done just attaching buttons these are the nice denim buttons that you just attach with a hammer so it's very very simple and yeah I am pretty happy with it the leg I finished like a normal jeans mm, they would have wanted me to do a higher hem but I didn't like it leg is very wide I will have to make some modifications in the future just because I would like to wear it uh, at this point but yeah I'm pretty happy with it I like the result uh, I think I would change a couple things of course but this is a ready-made pattern it's from the 70s obviously it's gonna be slightly different than a modern one but yeah I'm pretty happy I hope you liked it in case you did please leave a like and subscribe that's a great help and I'll see you next time bye